Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So this will be the last update that I'm gonna make on the garden thing. In fact, I had a previous channel that I had a long time ago that I'd started and made a couple videos and then stopped. Uh, this was 10, 12 years ago when YouTube first came out. But I'm gonna start making, I'm gonna redo that channel um, and start making videos on the garden because it kind of works with that. It's called Escaping the Daily Grind. Uh, so I'll link it in the description section if you guys want to go subscribe to that. And then you can see the updates if you're interested. But I've noticed that while some of you are very interested in the garden, what's going on, most of you just want to come on and watch fishing videos or fly tying videos, which is totally fine. Um, I'm going to continue the fly tying videos. But I'm also going to do this. It's just, it's really easy for me to just do quick updates. So you guys can come along and see how I do the updates and never know, maybe this takes off and I'm doing two channels. I don't know, but really it's not going to be a channel. It's just going to be me doing updates on kind of what's going on. So this will be the last one. And then you guys will have to subscribe to over there. I'll probably put this video on that one and do a different intro, of course, <laughs> but um, I'll probably put this one on there. So if you want to go watch this there, go ahead now, um, look down below and you'll see the, the link to that channel and go ahead and subscribe there and go watch it there. But I should be able to do weekly updates, maybe even more. We'll see. So anything interesting that happens, I'll let you guys know. But I do have a big update here on a couple things. So. So the birds are struggling here because it's 105 degrees and I put this in, it's our little pool kind of thing, little kiddie pool. I don't have it very deep, so they're not gonna like, I don't, I don't know if they can drown or not, but they can get their feet in there and get kind of cooled down. I've been throwing out a frozen watermelon for them, um, coming down and hosing, hosing all this down, um, to, you know, keep it wet. I even install a little misting system for them because it is just, it's like five days of 105 degrees. I'm gonna get out of here because they all run in there when they're scared. So I, uh, they don't want, they don't like this phone and they don't want me in there. So I'm gonna get out so they can come back out. It's a little cooler out here than in their coop. So, although it's not bad in their coop. I mean, there is this big window and it kind of allows air to come in. And then there's a, there's a vent up there, you know, for them. So there's plenty. Um, so, Anyway, let's move on. By the way, I've got this little runted sunflower. I don't know what happened here. It's not doing great, but it is what it is. But this is quinoa, and these two are amaranth. That's also amaranth, a different kind. So I just planted those. I had extra ones, threw it in, and they kind of took off. Next, this is a bigger sunflower. It's still not really mammoth i mean i think this is a uh, black oil because i had mammoth and black oil and i think the black oil are the ones that ended up finally taking off but that is not the size of sunflower you're supposed to see them much taller okay uh we got lemons they're they're just the same um we're doing really well with these this is the uh, blueberries and then we harvested a bunch of tomatoes recently and got them in the house. One starting to turn again, uh, but we probably got about 10 tomatoes off that. And these are gonna be more cherries. They're starting to turn. You can see some color changes there on those. Um, so they're starting to, we'll get some of those. Those are um, determinant, right? All three of these, they're determinant. So they're gonna um, all pretty much at the same time ripen. I'm of course a little staggered, but mostly the same time. I put in another one of these and because it's so hot, newer plants, I put this up. This is a 30% shade cloth. And so it kind of helps, but um, these are all new. Um, so that's a new uh, pumpkin. There's a pumpkin and there's a pumpkin. These are all new. I got rutabaga in the center. I got something, it was like a, I came in and ate all these leaves. This was really nice, big and beautiful and ate the, ate the leaves off, so. Um, unfortunately, but that's all squash back there. You can see the, the coming out pumpkins out. So this is all new pumpkin I planted. Um, this is all, uh, zucchini squash. And then I've got 
right here and here, some basil planted in between. So the peppers are doing amazing. Um, this is peppers and uh, basil. So there's basil, sorry, there's basil, there's basil. We've got a couple different kinds. This is like, um, I don't know if this one's a lemon. No, that's the Thai basil. So that has like a, you can tell by rubbing the leaves and smelling it. Uh, that's Thai basil and then this one is the lemon, I believe. Yep, that's the lemon basil. So lemon basil, sweet basil, Thai basil back there. But these peppers are doing really good. I've already got a couple peppers growing off on them. You can see there, uh, this one a little less, but they're getting big. Uh, this one has a couple bigger ones, but this row is Anaheim. This is, uh, this row is sweet peppers, kind of like a bell peppers, I believe. And then this is jalapenos. So there's two jalapenos. Finally got a bean plant to start. Doing well, and we got some beans on them. Those are pintos. Um, the amaranth looks really great. Uh, so we should start being able to get some amaranth seeds soon. This one will, um, it's more of kind of like what we had over there. Um, but, uh, and then this is quinoa, these two, and they're kind of falling over, but soon they should be harvested. But put another shade cloth up and then I stopped messing with this and this fell over. I had it growing up. You can tell it started falling back over. I mean, that's okay. They can go along the ground, but um, I'm gonna have to rip all this out. It's starting to kind of go. Um, so it's just too hot, too hot for them. So. We got some cherry tomatoes that actually I'm gonna pick in a second here. The San Marzanos are doing really well. In fact, they're doing the best of all the tomatoes, I think. Got a bunch of tomatoes back there, just real thick with them. So once those ripen, should be soon, be able to get a bunch. Our brandy wines never took off, but that's okay. So we've got, of course this one's dying back, uh, but it's, normal they're almost ready to harvest so that's that's normal once the plant starts dying back you know you're ready to harvest and the same thing with this one over here you can tell it's starting to wilt it's starting to die back leaves are starting to kind of change color there for some reason the um butternut squash never really took off well until just a little bit ago it's actually wilting a little just because it's so hot but um now there you've got i've got green foliage it's looking good it was looking pretty bad this little pumpkin starting to ripen. It's, boy, it's really small though, but that vine never really took off. This one, I just cut off a pumpkin. You actually saw it, it was over there. Now oh, they're getting in there and <laughs> that's what that noise was, splashing around in the water. Um, so this pumpkin vine, much bigger. And so it produced a little larger pumpkin and they are small. Whoops, bumped my head on that. Uh, they are small pumpkins. They're not big, but you can see right here. This one is ready. Now I'm letting it cure. You want to set it out in the sun and let them cure. Same with that butternut squash. Um, I pulled them both off and I just pulled out a couple of the spaghetti squash and they're in the, the house curing. Um, these are doing absolutely stunning. Um, they are gonna be ready soon. Uh, to harvest the seeds. So this is called Velvet Queen, this version. Um, and it's, you know, it's more of a reddish color. Uh, they are starting to get yellow here, uh, finally, but when they first come out, uh, they're like a, a really dark red. Now, I think because of the heat, you can tell that one's a little redder. Because of the heat, it might be causing it not to be super bright, uh, bright red, but the picture showed absolutely stunningly red but seems more of an orange to me but they're still really nice really pretty and so i think that you know they're still produce some good seeds small seeds but i'm going to feed them to the birds then we got some runners off the strawberries 19 of them so far uh, we've got a couple more uh, that once they get a little longer i'm going to put some down there's one i could have done um, but yeah, we, uh, we've got runners coming off of them. So I put, put down some dirt and, uh, they're already sprouting roots. I'm not going to pull them up, but I did pull one up and we've got roots already on them. So I got to come through and water again. Got to water twice a day right now. It's just so hot. 
so hot. So anyway, I got the sprinkler thing on. My, so my phone just literally died because it said it was too hot. So it did not, uh, wants to focus on the, um, here we go. So I put up this while I was waiting for my phone. I had to put it in the fridge because it said that the phone was overheating. It's 105 out here, I'm trying to video. So I guess that's too much for it. But anyway, we'll end here, guys. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.